Hey ho, this is Max Ignatius Atlas. Day 46, year of change, change your perception, change your life. Everything is in a blog link below from today. Check it out. Look forward to your comments, your feedback. Keep me going on this year of change. Definitely seeing massive progress in the photos now. Day 46, don't get me wrong, long, long way to go. But each day is a step in the right direction. I had to take a bit easy this morning because my hip was playing up. I've got a metal hip from an old injury when I was in the forces, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. But most of the time, I can keep on top of it. Certainly hoping as I lose some weight, aiming for 20 kilos plus weight loss over this next year, as well as obviously getting shredded if it's possible. God knows if it is. I've never done it before. Ever since I've been, you know, late 20s to now very, very late 30s, been a bit of a fat so, so is what it is. I'm just going to push hard, keep going, eating clean, doing the right thing, see what happens. You know, today was not the worst day in spite of everything that happened. I mean, yeah, I'm tired. Yeah, things are stacking up. I know it ain't all happy days, you know, ain't all a Hollywood movie, that's for sure. But what it is, is taking control of what I can control. And I'm finding these small baby steps into just exploring the things that are actually within my control and letting go of things that I have no influence over is making a huge difference to the outcomes of how I'm seeing things, to how I'm feeling, to levels of anxiety. And it is definitely something that is I am going to pursue, even if I don't achieve what I plan to achieve in terms of my physical self. And my mental self, I don't want to go back because I am learning and evolving each day this progress comes on. The stuff that comes up, like for example, one of my kids the other day, yeah, oh my God. Not the other day, actually, it was like late last night. For some unknown reason, well, it was for their 3D printer, but they lost their SD card. So they grabbed my Nikon DSLR camera. It's a D3500, it's nothing too fancy but took the memory card out of it without asking me. And you might think, well, what's the, what's the problem with that? Well, it's got about, it's my fault for not backing it up, but it's got probably two weeks worth of photos on there. And it's irritated the shit out of me because then they've lost that SD as well. But he said, don't worry, dad. The good news is I found my SD card. And it, it, we turned the house upside down. God knows where it is. And two weeks worth of photos, it might not sound a lot, but that's, you know, I go out my way to get those photos, you know, use all the settings, you know, and it's it's just quite frustrating. But I'm using this kind of Ming vase philosophy where, you know, if I just accepted it, that it was never mine to begin with. And while, you know, it's, it's irritating and if it shows up, it shows up. The fact it's gone, I can no longer control that. So I've spoke, I've had a good chat with, with, with my child and just explained to them that, you know, if you want to use other people's stuff, because you've got your own stuff, especially, you know, expensive equipment, you need to ask permission first. And then once you've asked, you need to then use it very carefully and then put it back where you found it safely. Like, if I'd been asked, I would have just said no. Find, you got to find your own memory card or just hold fire until you get your pocket money and then you can buy a new one. But that's just, it's just one of those things, I guess. And, and you know, previously, before this, the, the kind of stoic virtues and I've been listening to a bit of um, Taoism I, and I think that I, I probably would have absolutely kicked off and probably made more of it than needed to be but don't get me wrong the action needed to be corrected because the behavior wasn't ideal but at the same time it didn't need to raise voices or you know behaviors that would leave everyone feeling bad it just needed uh, you know guidance on 
what not to do next time and hopefully that's enough you know just explaining the impact of those actions will be enough to reduce the risk of it happening again so a bit of risk mitigation the most of the time what I'm finding is with the hunger that it's actually quite manageable in between meals but where I have a bit of a difficult time is when I've eaten a meal there's a short period afterwards and I think it's something to do with a hormone release and how long it takes to get to your brain where I could just hook into like another portion or I could hook into you know a, a massive pudding I mean do you, I, you see like apple pie or apple crumble or you know a custard tart and you just think in that period, you know, I could just literally smash the whole thing in. And it's making those choices not to. But what I've found is if you can just eat a bit slower, and that's why I'm having a lot of the mixed salads in with the meals, that that seems to be mitigating the risk from the overeating because it's taken longer to finish the meal. So by the time I finish the meal, I'm fuller. And so that strategy is definitely something I'm going to keep using and just keep chipping away. I'm seeing gains. My weight is definitely, definitely coming down. And I believe I'm getting stronger. I'm lifting heavier rice sacks easier. I mean, admittedly, today was a struggle, as you'll see in the blog. But fundamentally, I'm getting stronger already. And the progress, although it feels slow, because each day, you know, it's like you want it now because we live in this society where we just want things now. But also the delayed gratification and the discipline that it takes in itself is actually giving some pleasure. So I'd recommend if you're also undertaking a journey of self-discovery and a journey of accountability to yourself with healthy eating, exercise, mindfulness, that you should certainly certainly look into the benefits of that and look for the positives because we're pre-wired to find negatives everywhere we really are but if you can just look into the positives of what you're doing and reinforce those even though some of them at face value might not seem that way then your delayed gratification is at the end of this hopefully not only do you have a better healthier body where you're more able but also a stronger mind anyway thanks for listening guys that is day 46 don't be a slob get out there get fit work hard make a difference help someone else and help yourself respect max out